Calling all cars. Calling all cars. Be on the lookout for long-haired man selling cotton comics. Goes by the name Hooligan. Be on the lookout. Roger. Hey, good Monday, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome one and all. Let me know when everyone is in. Give your shout outs. Say your hellos. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I was hoping to have a weekend with margaritas and it didn't happen. So, anywho, let me give it a minute for folks to pop on in. Sit here. Got a lot of fun stuff for you guys. We got stuff for the uh, eBay store. Uh, a couple things to show you that's going on at the Coffin Comic Shop today, uh, including some of the last of the Hellwitch stuff that is available to order, and I've seen some of the stock levels, and yeah, they're going quick. A lot of this Hellwitch stuff is going really fast, so if you were delaying, well, I would not delay any longer. <clears throat> boop, boop, ba -doo. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> Where's everything? There we go. Hello? Do, 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 do. All right. Uh, okay. It says I'm live. I guess I'm live. It's not looking like it's live. Huh. Well, let's see what's going on here. Da, 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 da. 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 Hello! Who's watching me right now? I see you. I saw you pop up. Who's there? Make your presence known to me, spirits of Coffin Comics. Hello. Anyways, uh, got some stuff for eBay I'm going to start things off with for you guys. You see the links. Go ahead and uh, click on it. Hi, honey. <laughs> Uh, click on it so you can see some of the today's um, offerings. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, here we go, folks. A um, couple things. Um, I'm also going to be showing you um, a couple items that I thought I was out of, but I found a couple more here and there, mostly onesies. Um, but, yeah, I thought I would show you guys some of the cool stuff I just uploaded on eBay today. Um, one of the cool things I was glad to find is I found another one of these beautiful Scorcher prints. Thank you for letting me know. There we go. And it is signed by Brian. There is a COA. Hey, it's upside down. But it's in the bag and it's there. It's one of the classic old school coffin COAs. So I have one of these. This is the last one. Um, the other ones I had, these are all nine and a half by seven and a half. Um, are the dimensions, so this is it. Once she's gone, goodbye. Another cool thing that I've just uploaded for you all for your wonderful pleasures. I was able to find uh, in some onesie stock, I have a Lady Death, Mischief Knight, Monster of Death and Sign, Damaged Edition, and this one's already been previously signed by Brian, and I made sure I got that. You're going to need that table. Um, yeah, I, I always imagined this in our living room. Um, um, it is a real coffin, too. So it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, 
Got one of these available. It is signed. Also, speaking of signatures, if anyone would like on their eBay orders to um, have something signed, please put it in the notes section or uh, message me via uh, eBay and I will make sure that your order does get the signature. Just know that it does add a little bit of time to getting the order out. So if you are wanting a signature on your books through your purchases of eBay, please know there could be a slight delay. Brian's a very busy man and we have lots of stuff for him to sign. So just to let you know, I can do it, but expect possibly a couple day delay or more um, in case things happen. So on to the next. Some other cool things I was able to dig up. Found some, uh, two, three copies of the Unholy Ruin homage. This is the homage to The Walking Dead number one. Amazing homage right there. So I got a few of these left on the eBay store. And these might probably be the last of, of the last, at least of the Kickstarter version. I know we released a damaged version for uh, the direct market, if I recall. Um, and I believe that one's a 24 page book and not a 48 page square bound book. Another very fun little thing I found for all you people that are really into the uh, jeweled editions, I was able to get my hands on two copies of the Blasphemy Anthem jeweled editions. Really beautiful, beautiful cover. I really love the detailing on that mask. It's really beautiful. Uh, honey, I don't know if that's gonna fit in the car. We have a little car. I know it's got the seats laid out, but I might have to strap it to the hood and it's so heavy, it'll probably crush the hood of the car. But yeah, I wouldn't mind having one of those in the living room. That'd be a great coffee table. Again, I got two copies of the Blasphemy Anthem Jeweled Editions. And all the things I'm showing right now are items that I have just uploaded onto the eBay store uh, earlier today. So, get them while they're getting good. Some of this stuff, again, onesie twosies, um, limited stock on a lot of these items. So, in some cases, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, hopefully, you can see more than my chin. Okay. Anywho, the next item I have... And I, I really love this homage. This is the homage to the old Aurora model kits from the 60s. This is the Lady of Death of Stein. This is the Lady Death of Stein edition, Hot Shots number one. And it's designed to look like an old Aurora model kit box. And if you guys don't uh, no one knows what those were, those were model kits um, in the 1960s where they did um, a lot of monsters, uh, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, uh, Frankenstein, of course, Bride of Frankenstein, um, Godzilla, Gamera, Rodan, whole nine yards. And they were really neat. Some of them even glowed in the dark. So these were really cool model kits. Uh, my father's friend Tom was a huge collector of monster things and he was into makeup effects. And he showed me his display of all the original Aurora model kits, and he had a detailing like spider webs to it, and he really went to town on them. So, if anyone knows what those old Auroras are, they're very cool model kits. Um, I'd like to see some of those make a comeback because those would be fun to build, and they're really cool old plastic model kits. Uh, next up, two copies I was able to get a hold of. This is for Nightmare Symphony, this is the Seraphim edition. Jesse Witchman is the cover artist. Really beautiful piece. Um, I would love, maybe it's Swarmfest. I think this is something that, that could have been a jeweled edition, just the way with all the beautiful graphics all along her wings and what have you. Just This would make a really unique piece if you guys were ever wanted to get something jeweled like at Swarmfest or like we did at Fiendfest. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Especially watching people get really creative on their jeweled editions and the stuff they have custom jeweled with. Um, Shannon was truly breathtaking. She does amazing work. So if you want a unique piece in your collection, Shannon's there doing the jewels. Get it done. It'll definitely be something amazing for your collection. 
All right, next up, I have two copies of the Sworn Number no. 1, Jaunt in the Darkness. This is the hollow foil versions. Let's see. Woo! Hollow foil y. And again, like, like I love showing, is if you just don't do the front cover, the back is also foily. We so we got a couple of those in. Six of the witch. What was inside that? Okay, nothing. All right. For some reason I thought there was like a mini print in that box. That would have been kind of fun. Whoever bought it. Oh, here we go. Another uh, book. I was able to get a couple issues on that I'm offering on eBay today is the Merciless Onslaught number one first appearance of Caprice. It's a really beautiful one. There is a, an alternate cover version to this, the Naughty Caprice, but I think those sold out. But if I do happen to run across any, I'll make sure to do a little video on them because those things were amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ah, what Kickstarter wouldn't be Coffin Comics Kickstarter without a homage? And this one is really cool. This is, um, again, Marat Michaels. And this is an homage to the first appearance of Batman, Detective Comics number 27, back in 1939. Really cool. I really like how uh, in the original version you had the gangsters, and this one they made them all demons. It's really cool. Really great homage. Marat Michaels, again, just keeps knocking them out of the park whenever we have to do these homage editions. Um, really great guy. Probably one of the uh, one professionals uh, in the industry I have known for a very long time. I think I met him right, uh, right when he moved to Arizona. So I've known him for a while now. So if you're watching, thank you for the work, Marat. All right. This one is a Colette Turner. These two are also signed. I pulled two signed copies. This is the Apocalyptic Abyss Jeweled Edition. These were a Kickstarter offering. And these two editions were signed by Brian. So I have two of these available right now. Once they're gone, they're it. I don't know of any left in the store anymore. So um, these may be the last two in the company we are offering. There was a limited run of 400s of this edition. Really beautiful cover by Colette Turner. It's really, Shannon really did a good job placing the jewels again. I, I love it when she does it along the, the necklaces and any time on the costuming, on the, on the dresses or the belts or what have you. Just really impressive work. She does some amazing, amazing work. So thank you, Shannon, for your hard work on these jeweled editions. And thank you Clint Turner for a beautiful, beautiful piece of art to go on that cover. So thank you very much. All right. Another couple more copies I found right here. This is the La Muerta pinups. This is the Trick or Treat edition. I had a copy of the uh, Lady Death Trick or Treat that was a companion piece, and you put them together, and they made a double image. Um, but unfortunately, those ones sold out. These are only a couple left. So if anyone who did pick up that, um, I believe it was a Lady Death Gallery Trick or Treat Edition that was jeweled, this is the nice companion piece that goes with it so you can make a double image. So I got two of these on the eBay store today. Also, thank you guys uh, for your patience for me uh, taking time to upload uh, stuff on the eBay, had to do a lot of uh, inventory stuff and, and get everything, uh, make sure all the accounts were up to snuff. And um, also I took on some more inventory, so uh, hopefully within the next month or so I'll start loading up even more stuff onto the eBay store for y'all. And uh, hopefully you really like what I found and I'm digging up for you. All right, another really cool, this is a two-pack by the amazing... The fun, awesome man, Dan Mendoza. This is previously available on the last Lady Death Kickstarter. Or it's not Lady Death, La Muerta. 
This is the Saint of Guns collection. It's two books inside here, so you just don't get one taste of damn Mendoza. You get two pieces. One naughty, one nice. It's really nice. I, I really like his style. There's something about it. It has that really hilarious cartoony look, but also that um, just it, it still has that darkness that you expect from Coffin Comics. But, you know, I, I just really love his work. Uh, he's really just been flying into the stratosphere when, in the uh, comic industry, and we're really glad he's uh, here with us to uh, work on products and do these amazing covers with us. So thank you, Dan, for joining Coffin Comics. We always have some really uh, good, amazing artists uh, here. Brian definitely, uh, definitely goes to town on uh, getting some good talent. All right, this is one of my favorite, um, and I'm glad I have one of these. This is the La Muerta Pinups, number one. This is a handcrafted edition. This is hand-colored by Jason Jensen. Art image is by Richard Ortiz. Really stunning piece. And one thing that's really nice about these handcrafted editions is um, n no, no one looks alike. They're all... All very, very, very different. Uh, the color schemes, everything. Um, I've only seen this one so far, so I'm really happy I was able to uh, get one onto the eBay store, especially this La Muerta image. This is just really beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, this is the only one I have. So to my knowledge, um, that could be the last one. Also, guys, I found a couple classics from the chaos era, I thought um, I'd show you guys. And I only have one of each of these. Uh, I found these in a box that I thought I had already been through, but no, of course not. Paul Lopez, how's it going, man? Thank you for joining us. I'm gonna wave at you. I'm waving. All right, this is the Untold Tales of Chastity Glow in the Dark. This is it, this is the last one. Um, maybe I'll run into some more later, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I find in, in all these great stuff I have to go through. And then I also have the Theater of Pain number one Onyx. So, classic chaos fans, here you go. Um, one of each of these left, and that's it. All she wrote. All right, speaking of La Muerta, uh, Ascension Kickstarter. I have another homage from Marat Michaels, and this is the homage to the Punisher Numero Uno. Amazing. I'm doing well, Paul. I'm doing well. Troy, it was good to see you too. Uh, Paul, um, where are you joining us from, man? I like the Stormtrooper head in your profile picture. But I got two of these on the eBay store right now. And this is from Chapter 5 of La Muerta Ascension. And remember, speaking of La Muerta, the Kickstarter... For retaliation, we got four days left. So probably my last segment, I'm gonna re-show you guys some of the uh, additions we have to maybe entice you or get someone else to go ahead and jump up on our Kickstarter and support us and pick up some really wonderful stories we're telling. Uh, La Muerta is my favorite series we published, so I am really excited about this newest chapter. And then we also have, this is the only one I was able to come across, so this could be it also. This is the um, Ascension Hollow Foil Edition. We made 150 of these for the last Kickstarter. That is really beautiful. These Hollow Foil Editions are just really powerful. And again, all Hollow Foils come with a warning. Do not look at them in direct sunlight, you will go blind. Now this cover, this cover is cool. Uh, I've been waiting to show this. This is from La Muerta Last Rites. This is a vault book. It is number six. And the crossover of all crossovers, this cover, boom. This is the La Muerta Vengeance edition from Last Rites. And there we have Lady Death and La Muerta on the cover together. I love this image. This is a really amazing looking cover. And now, these two, I can't wait. Their paths are crossing. 
coffin verse is exploding, it's growing, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you for supporting us, and thank you again for making the coffin verse a reality. All right, next up, um, you may have noticed if you signed up for our VIP newsletter, which I recommend you do if you haven't already, there should be a link right there. Just go ahead and click on it, and it'll take you there. Sign up. We got some new cool announcements for our summer sin. We're doing new swimsuit issue. Yes, 2019, the 19th. You are gonna want to be here to see Brian's big announcement about it. So that got me thinking. On the eBay store, I actually have some older swimsuit editions, uh, mostly from the Avatar, because that's all I have left. The other ones I had for Chaos flew out the door. I might have maybe one floating around on the store. I doubt it, but I thought I'd show you these, uh, these ones, folks. This is the Swimsuit 2005. This is the commemorative edition. I believe I have about three or four copies left on eBay right now. So I thought I'd show you guys that in anticipation for the swimsuit. The new one will be making the announcement on the 19th. Remember that. Stay tuned for the 19th. Sign up for the newsletter so you get all this great information. The other swimsuit, this is a Juan Jose rip cover. This is the Killing Blow. Got a few copies of these left too. These are selling for $6 a piece, so they're pretty much cover price. And another really gorgeous swimsuit button. This is the um, premier one. Again, Juan Jose Rip is the cover artist. So I have a few of these left. So whatever you see, grab it. Because once they are gone on most of this stuff, um, that's it. Um, I need to do some digging and do my uh, in best Indiana Jones impression da, 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 to go digging around for these awesome pieces of treasures I dig up for you guys. So that was a little bit of my presentation on what's available on the eBay store. But also on the Coffin Comic Shop store, we're offering some of the last of the stock for the Hell Witch the Forsaken Kickstarter. If you haven't gotten that edition you might want, you may want to pull the trigger on it because these are going fast. Um, when I was pulling just onesies of these to show you guys, I was just like, wow, this stuff could sell out um, probably by the end of the week, maybe sooner because there is a lot of people picking up these editions. So if you haven't gotten it, you've been hemming and hawing, no more hemming and hawing. We are running low on stock on the Hell Witch, the Forsaken. So get it. Get it, get it, get it. Here's what we have left. And like I say, guys, not huge numbers on some of these. We have Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is a black and white edition. So you have one of these, uh, this edition available. And one thing that's really cool is it shows you the interiors in pencils. I absolutely think these are amazing. You get to really see the art before it's been inked, before it's been colored. You just get to see the beautiful raw pencils and these things are so beautiful. Look at that art. Some love right there. There's some hate. There's some impalings. It's, it's beautiful. I love looking um, at comic book art uh, in multiple stages of the process of, of developing the book. The rough sketches and then watching how they flesh it out with more pencilings and the inker puts it out, fleshes out even more detailing and then the colorist adds that added pop to it, so boom. But yeah, watching uh, comic books develop um, the making process is a blast to watch. It's a really fun and it's great to be a part of it. All right, another item we are offering for the Hell Witch, the Forsaken, is the Metallic Jeweled Edition. Jesse Witchman is the artist on it. Ooh, really like the jeweled editions sparkle really nicely uh, here in the shop. They show up very well. So these are really gorgeous. I mean, you have some jewels on her eye, eyebrow right here where her piercing is along all her necklaces and jewelry. 
even on her little stringy bikini bikini. It's the stringiest bikini in the world. Woo! Good golly, Miss Molly. Beautiful. Thank you, Jesse. There's a couple more items we have. While we're on the subject of jewels, this is the Hell Witch the Forsaken Jeweled Edition. We only had 350 of these made. So whatever we're offering, folks, now's your chance. If you've been waiting on some of these editions, please do not wait any longer. Please do not wait any longer. These are almost going to be gone. These are going to sell out. Um, Hell Witch is really just taking off. From where it's just taken off, <laughs> Lady Death just dominates all, man. Like I say, if you see something you like for Hell Witch the Forsaken, now's the time to strike. Whereas Brian says, strike! All right. Another item we are offering on the Coffin Comics store is Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is the hollow foil edition. Really beautiful hollow foil cover. Don McTague did the art. Again, I love, look at how great that looks. I love that black background and the beautiful images of Pilo Pontanera. I'm probably saying that name wrong, but I love on the back just how the foil really just, it really makes the text pop. So you actually want to read it. But again, all holo foils. Do not look at them in direct sunlight. You could go blind. So all these How Witch editions are on the Coffin Comics shop right now. Get them. They are flying out. Just for me to pull the onesie stock to show you guys today, I was really shocked with how few we had left. So don't delay. Strike now. Get that cover you want before they're gone. Next up. Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is the um, homage edition, again, by Marat Michaels and Dan Feldmeyer. If I recall, this is the homage to um, Hulk 181. Yeah, with Wolverine, first appearance of Wolverine. So, there's only 400 of this. Do not delay on any of this Hell Witch the Forsaken items. We are getting down to the small numbers here, folks. Another really beautiful Kickstarter on we are very well known for. This is the heavy metal cover. Look at that. That's just stunning. This is John Boy Myers did the art. This image is just... God, the, the camera definitely, when I tilt it, you can definitely see more of the colors. This cover really pops it's just sensational how the colors just really are so vibrant in that metal so this is a metal cover folks only something this amazing could come from coffin comics remember that all right got a couple more left this time instead of using my fingers for the sensor bars i actually went through and actually was able to uh Catch them in time and put my own sensor bars. So this is Hell Witch the Forsaken. This is the Risque Heartless Edition. Mike Chrome is the artist. We only did 99. This is number 65. So these are limited in stock, guys. If you have not decided to pull that trigger on the Hell Witch Forsaken items, you need to do it soon. Some of these editions will be gone. I was very surprised how low the stock was. All right, another John Boy Myers one. This is the Risque Dominator Edition. There's only 150 of this made. And this one, if you notice, uh, oops, my fingers, my sensor bars keep moving. There we go. Boom. Sensor bars are now in place. Really beautiful. Almost like a, a naughty alternative to the uh, metal cover. Same artist, John Boy Myers. This is all the stuff you can find right now at the Coffin Comic Shop. Just click on the link. It should take you right to all the Hell Witch stuff, Hell Witch the Forsaken. These are the last Kickstarter editions we are offering. Another really cool one. This is the Risque Predator edition. There was only 150 of this made as well. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. I'd almost like to see uh, 
If this would be like a premium foil edition, those claws would look great in foil. Just, wow, amazing stuff. Okay, this one's from the artist Lorenzo. This is, this is really beautiful. This is the Risqué and Slippery Edition. Look at this. Miguel, what's up, man? How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm waving at you, dude, virtually. Stunning. Really beautiful, beautiful book. Wow. God, I wish I could draw. <laughs> I do know this, though. I am the best stick figure artist in the nation. All right, maybe just Arizona, but, you know, hey, it's the little things in life we got to be happy about. Okay, so these are all the things that I have uh, have for you guys today that are on both the Coffin Comics store and the eBay store. But what I wanted to do is also um, show you guys, let me get this off real quick, the uh, stuff we're offering on the Kickstarter for La Muerta, because we only got four days left on this bad boy, so. There we go. Head on out, I wonder who we might run into out there. Oh, man. Hey, Miguel, how was your weekend, by the way? Did you do anything fun? boop -a doo all right, let's see what we got. Oh, out of the boutique. Here we go. Say hi, everyone. We're live here. Whoa. Hey, everyone's in the house. Thank you, guys. Hey, Daryl. How you doing, man? Thank you for watching. I'm going to wave at you, dude. All right. So we got four days left on this Lemoire to Kickstarter. And last week I was showing you a bunch of this stuff, but now's your chance. Now's your chance. These are the Chase Editions. Daryl, how was your weekend, man? I hope it was well. I hope you had a good one. Really, look at these are the chases. You have the blue. You have the red. That looks very crimson. I really like that red. It's a really nice shade of red. You have the purple. That looks like black and silver. The metallic green. The gold also. Really nice gold costume. And then you have the omegas. Now, people go crazy for these omegas. Usually, um... Say how many were made? No, it doesn't. So if I recall, only two or three of these get out? Oh, nice! What uh, type of uh, farm does your dad have, Miguel? Daryl, thank you for the shout-out, man. I appreciate it. This is the Metallic Legend edition. Look at that bad boy. Beautiful. Joe Benitez is doing the art on that. Look at that. These are just amazing. Look, only 13 are going to be published and, what, 10 released? Here's the metal card sets. Guys, I also put the link. They were popped paper. You know, um, you're like maybe the third, fourth person that has asked me if we are doing Funko Pops. Um, I think they would look great too. I just don't know how that whole licensing department works. My hooliganites, um, if you mean my family, I think they're all at home right now. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> so these are the metallic cards we'll be offering. Oh, you know, uh, Miguel, um, where about is this, uh, is, is it located? I'd, I'd like to check it out once everything is up and normal. Um, I actually got a couple uh, baby torts that eat lots of uh, veggies, so... Um, let me know. Also, here we are. This is the Apollo Foil Lucky 13 edition. Wow. That is bright. Wow, that really reflects that light very well. Again, do not look at these in direct sunlight, especially in Arizona, especially if you're driving a car. You'll just see all this in your eyes. So, yeah, that's beautiful hollow foil covers. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Electric lettuce. Miguel, I, you're going to have to let me know what electric lettuce is after the show. All right, and here's some of the mystery envelope editions. 
And these, we, there looks like there's going to be about 40 on average, but there's even some that are even fewer additions made. If I'm not mistaken, let me take 40, 40, 40. No, it looks like everything's going to be 40. Cool. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Flamenco edition. These are all done by the very talented and amazing Joel Gomez. This is the Muerta Space Case Edition. Nice. I love that image. I love the classic rocket ship. This reminds me of the rocket ship from the old uh, Godzilla movies, um, like Godzilla uh, versus Monster Zero. The rocket ship looked kind of similar to that. That's really cool. Cool retro right there. Good job, Joel. Beautiful work. This is the Wasteland Warrior Edition. Joe Gomez has really been doing some amazing stuff. Vid crash. My vid, I, I'm, I'm at HQ. I actually have good internet for a change. Don't scare me like that, Daryl. This is the punk rock edition. I really, it's hard to decide on these mystery envelopes, but I definitely think this is, is my favorite one because I just love the tiles look of the skull on this one so hmm maybe i should save up some money and ask joel for the original <laughs> god that's gorgeous next up this is the la muerta cyborg edition and there's only 40 of these made these are the mystery envelope ones wow it's really nice nice imaging Oh, I just noticed a little space car up top. That's so cool. Look at that. See? Movies in Hollywood lied to me because I remember watching Back to the Future. I'm supposed to have floating cars by now. Floating skateboards. Where is all that stuff? This is the Pirate Edition for La Muerta. Look at that. Beautiful. And I love that look in her face. It's that attitude of like, bam. I am a scoundrel. What are you going to do about it? Don't mess with La Muerta. All right. And then back here, some more of these ones. This one is another one. This medieval one, I really, really, also is another one. I really like that it kind of captures that time period. It definitely has a medieval look to it. All of these, just the style and the coloring and, and the graphics and the imaging he used really brings out these editions so much. This is the Viking one. Again, amazing stuff. I think these are some of my favorite Joel Gomez exclusive ones I've seen. It's really cool imagery. This is the Cowgirl edition. If I had a nice figure, boy, I would love to dress up like La Muerta in that outfit. <laughs> this is the uh, criminal edition. Made to look like an homage to the old 1930s gangsters. I love with the cool silencer piece at the end of the gun. Again, there's only 40 of these editions made. All right, this is the Jaguar. Jaguar's Claw, Jaguar Claw Edition. Now that's some groovy ass hair right there. That's some groovy hair. Love it. I mean, look at this. I, I love the reversal, how he did the skin white and then the bones red. That just is really, really nice. Oh, she's got the sworn fingers out. It's a Jaguar right there. Really nice job. Nice work there, Joel Gomez. Props, man. You really outdid yourself on these editions. This is the Victorian era. And I love that they, they include the huge collar um, around her neck. And again, you got all the jumbles of crucifixes and rosaries. A lot of cool Catholic religious icons. Beautiful stuff. Thank you, Joel. Um, then we even have... Print editions, gosh, these are so cool. There's so much really neat stuff we're offering on this Kickstarter. And thank you, everyone who's backed us. If you've been hemming in and hawing, please do not him and haw. There's only four days left. 
So these right here that I'm showing you right now are all the 11 by 17 prints. And we definitely have a big print, a lot of big print buyers. But these right here are just stunning. And yes, I need to iterate. This is not a Funko Pop. This is actually a print. These are not <laughs> Funko Pops. These are just comics. These are like homages to the Funko Pops. It would be awesome if we had Funko Pops, but I do have to say these are actual comic books, folks. They're not a real Funko Pop. All right. These are the Scarlet Medals, which are going to be randomly dispersed throughout the Kickstarter among all of the uh, different tiers. And that's a really cool thing that we do. I mean, Brian just tips things in. I mean, you just saw the video I did earlier with these. Joe Gomez, these are going to be randomly inserted metal cards, scarlet metals. These are just going to be, we're just going to tip these in for you guys. Free. It's amazing. We do some really cool stuff. This is the uh, other tip in. This is the emerald metal edition. This, uh, this green is just stunning. These are really stunning pieces. Oh, just... Cannot wait to see the finished products on this because these are just the plates. These are not the books themselves. Uh, those will get done later. Dennis, thank you for joining us. I hope you are having a great day. I just sent you a little wave. Uh, where are you watching from, Dennis? Please let me know. Give you a shout out. Uh, Brian also announced these will be randomly dispersed. Dude, those turbocharged charge books are great. Um, Miguel, I got to say, uh, our, our Kickstarters, we've really been just, there's a lot of fun to do. There are a lot of hard work, but we have fun presenting this stuff to you. I mean, Brian is probably one of the best presenters um, I've seen in the comic book industry. He's just all into it, and he loves it. He's a fan just like you guys. This right here is the uh, this is Retaliation premiere cover. Nice. This is the homage, the homage to one of my favorite Robert Rodriguez films, Desperado. I'm so glad we're doing this. North Carolina. How's the weather in North Carolina, Dennis? Because here it's just hot, hot, and it's just getting hotter. So um, I love to hear uh, what other folks got going on weather-wise because um, I feel like I'm in an oven. I will remain in an oven probably until October when... The fall finally hits us, maybe, probably closer to November. This is the original art edition we are offering on the Kickstarter. There's only four days left, folks. Four days. So click on that link and follow through. <laughs> so, uh, Dennis, uh, what kind of stuff do you like uh, collecting um, since you've backed our our Kickstarters, it seems like, uh, and, and you're expecting to get some of those ones. What's some of your um, favorite books or editions that you like going for when you do a Kickstarter? Rainy and nasty. Please send rainy, nasty weather our way, dude. Please, I'll send you sunshine if I can. I got more than enough to share. Anyone who lives in Arizona knows that. All right, this is the Naughty Vert edition right here. This is the jeweled edition. This is really gorgeous. I just love that she placed those uh, jewels right there on the bullet shell casings as they come flying out. Amazing stuff. Shannon really did a great job. Right here, this is the hollow ver foil version. Everyone repeat after me. Do not look at these in direct sunlight. You can go blind. Boom. There's the metallic edition. Can't wait to work on these John Boy Myers. It's going to be fun books to make. Lots of fun books. It's one thing that's great about working for comics, uh, Coffin Comics. It's always fun. It's always something different. And um, it's great to see um, you guys post things on online thanking us and stuff like that. Mystery envelopes are a lot of fun. Uh, those are definitely a lot of fun. Uh, I agree with you. I think those are probably the, one of the most exciting things on a Kickstarter. Because, you know, you might get... One of these in the Kickstarter. This is just the sculpted edition is 
jaw-droppingly amazing, guys. It's weird. The video almost doesn't do it justice. You got to see it in person. I mean, this is just stunning work. Look at all that detailing he did. I mean, the texture in the leaves on the flowers. I mean, guys, this is... Whoever gets these, you guys are just going to love the hell out of it because these are just stunning pieces. This is amazing. Yeah, we're just randomly throwing in 10. And, of course, as Brian showed in the uh, video he did on Facebook Live earlier, this is the uh, La Muerta Smoking T-shirt. Image about John Boy Myers. It'll be black, white, and red, which I think those are really appropriate colors for that shirt. That's really nice, nice imagery really like the the kind of psychotic look he put in her eyes it's really nice pieces nice pieces and then probably the one image everyone's just been following themselves over to him i went ahead and uh i talked to my father this weekend and he was asking me you know how things are in the comic book industry and i was telling him about our new kickstarter la muerta and i went ahead and um sent him this image um the black and white pencil one and <laughs> The reply back from my father is like, I'll take two for Christmas. Thank you very much. So my father was really thought this was a very beautiful image. Um, he really it thought the, 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 oh God, why am I having so much issues? Rosaries in the background. He really loved just the whole thing. He thought was really dramatic. And he was, as he told me, he actually wants one of these, so. Maybe I'll send him a nice little mini print uh, for Christmas. Here is some of the other editions. These are the Mexi Noir editions. These are so cool. These look just like old, um, like pulped detective novel covers. It's really amazing. I really love the colors in the eye style. It just totally fits. So Dennis, on your mystery envelopes, um, what was one of your favorite books you got out of a mystery envelope? Of course, no Kickstarter. Coffin Comics would be complete without a damn Mendoza. Two-pack, at least a two-pack. Um, last few, we've done uh, three-packs with them. This is the Metallic Jewel edition. Look at that. That is just a stunning piece. Ah, I wish the... <sighs> Look at those. Look at those crystals pop, guys. There's only uh, probably 100, 150 of these going to be made. Joel goes to the more to Deadly Duel. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's the elusive brandy I hear that there in the background, folks. They're a rare breed of animal that stalks us here. Oh, 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 there she is. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi, everybody. There's brandy. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. I'm loving these little guest appearances by everyone. <laughs> Here we go. These are the lethal editions. There's the Dark Reaper, of course. Oh, beautiful. Lethal edition. Elias Chatzuda. Oh, you got one of the Medicine Woman Cup? Dude. Dude. Don't let her lick the books. No, Miguel. That's why she was way off over there in the distance. She's not allowed to lick the pretties. We, we, we got to promote and sell this stuff. <laughs> this is the legendary three-pack. Joe Benitez. Virgin. You have the noir. Or I should say, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say, the vegan edition. The noir. And then the standard legend with the tux. Really nice stuff. Beautiful stuff. Hey, it's the famous clock down right there. And also, there is a rewards where you can load up on the back catalog of the first five chapters of La Muerta as well. So this is a small sampling of just one of the many amazing stuff we do on Kickstarter, guys. We, I mean, heck, you fans know it. You've seen what we've offered. This is why we're as successful as we are. Um, we think outside of the box. We bring down the curtains so we interact with you guys. You guys, a lot of us can contact us directly. Um, I don't know of very many publishing companies that will do that for you. So here we are, back in the wonderful little coffin comic shop. And again, um, 
these Hell Witch editions are what we're offering. And these are what's left from the Kickstarter. So I'll put them back in my beautiful, the black box of all that is amazing. This is the hollow foil. And I'm not kidding, guys. Please check these out. We are getting very low on stock on these Hell Witch the Forsaken. So some other links you can find up there. The VIP newsletter, I highly recommend um, you guys sign up for that. Our VIP newsletter, Jimmy, gives you a ton of content. So it's not just like a paragraph or two. It is pages long when you print that sucker. John Boy Myers, Risque Dominators edition. And they're really great things. It shows you like some of the stuff we got coming down the pike. Like the 19th, Brian's going to be doing a social presentation for the swimsuit editions. So you want to be stay tuned for that. But that's the kind of stuff you'll find in our newsletters. John Boy Myers again. This is the heavy metal cover. If you have not picked up any of the Hell Witch Forsaken stuff, guys, I can't reiterate. I am low on stock. These Some of these will be out. Um, I was actually um, afraid to pull even just one of each of these to show you guys. Oh, dude, Miguel. Yeah. I can't wait either. I'm really excited to seeing um, what Brian's going to be presenting for us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, again, spread the word. We got to let people know. It's like our VIP's newsletter is amazing. It's the Metal Jeweled Edition, Jesse Witchman. And I am not kidding, folks. We are selling out of those. These editions are slowly going away, just like the way of the dodo, the way of the dinosaur. They are going bye bye. It's the jeweled edition. Beautiful work. I say it's the camera just doesn't seem to catch the jewels the way you do when it's like right there in front of you. These are really beautiful books, guys. And for those who have picked up our editions, this is the black and white one. And this is a cool because I really like that it just shows you the raw pencils of the book, the raw art. This is just really amazing, guys. Look at those pencils. Look at that work. Beautiful, beautiful interiors. And that's what we offer you guys. Beautiful books for all you bad boys and girls. Uh, I, uh, this is the last of the old nine and a half by seven and a half. Yes, very epic indeed, man. Very epic indeed. And we show you guys the uh, images of the covers and what we're offering on these things. So you're going to want to be here to watch that. There's like naughty and nice versions, just stunning stuff, guys. I mean it. You got to check it out. Some other things. These right here are stuff I have loaded up for the eBay store. And also, since we're doing a swimsuit announcement on Friday, I thought I'd show you guys the last three editions I have, the old 2005 swimsuit editions. So once these are done, that's it. I am all sold out of these. So I think I might have maybe close to 10 on one of these editions. Everything else is probably looking like five or six or less, I'll say. That would be a good conservative number. Yet another cool vault book just popped up on the eBay store. This is La Muerte Last Rites Vengeance. This is vault number six. Boom, look at that. Six out of 77, guys, from the vault. Here we go. Boo. Yes. And also, guys, we can have your book signed on eBay. Just please put it in the uh, notes section so I can see it or message me on um, eBay. Just be aware it can add time on your wait to get the book back. Just know we'll get it signed. We'll slap a COA in there. And we'll get it out to you. Lickety split. I guarantee. In. La Muerte Homage from the Ascension. These are on the eBay store. I only have a couple of those. Also, there's the classics. Found a couple uh, last copies I could find of uh, these editions of Chastity. So one of each, and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. I'm hoping to hopefully find some more of this cool old stuff. Um, it's always fun to find this, this great stuff. It's fun, 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 fun. Comics are a lifestyle and just, I love comics. Love fandom. And we love you guys. This is a La Muerta 
handcrafted edition. It's number 30 out of 33. No, don't, 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 no. Brandy can't lick the handcrafted editions, Miguel. No, do not let that happen, please. Um, it was 33. These, all, each one of these is a different color scheme and look to them. They're beautiful. I really think um, the handcrafted editions are a very unique piece that, again, only we offer here at Coffin Comics. Classic from... Mr. Dan Mendoza, this is a two set. This is the Saint of Gun set. There's two comics, a naughty and a nice version. Thank you, Dan Mendoza, for contributing as always. You always appreciate it. Two copies of the jeweled edition of the La Muerta Pinups Trick or Treat. For the uh, anyone who has the uh, Lady Death Trick or Treat, uh, this piece goes with it. So you can have a nice, cool double image. It's also able to find two copies of Apocalyptic Abyss Jeweled Editions. These two copies I have left are signed, and I did make sure I threw in a COA in those for you guys. So if anyone's looking for signed editions, I do have a few up there. Not a lot, but like I say, we can get things signed for you. Just put it in your um, note section on the checkout uh, so I can get them or message me on eBay, and I will make sure to get those laid out for you to get signed. The Homage for Nightmare Symphony by Marat Michaels. Got two of these on eBay right now. Got a couple of the Merciless Onslaught first appearance of Caprice. A couple of these. A couple of the Jaunt into Darkness. This is Lady Death Sworn, Jaunt in the Darkness Hollow Foil Edition. Got a couple of those left. Really great Jesse Witchman image right here. This is the Seraphim, also from Nightmare Symphony. Really, I really love the coloring effects and the blue swirls along the wings. Just really powerful image. She definitely looks like a true goddess, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, ready to take on all comers. It's beautiful, beautiful image. Another great homage, really great homage for all you old school fans of the old Aurora model kits, the Lady of Deathenstein. Got two more copies left of these, and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. That's it. We are sold out here. Blasphemy Anthem, I have two jeweled editions. There was 500 of these made. I'm not sure how many left. I only have two available on the eBay store. That's all I have. Just the two. One and a two. And another great homage. I have three of these, and I believe that is the last of the stock of the Kickstarter version of this. This is Unholy Rune 1 homage. This is the homage to Walking Dead number one. So I have three of these left. These are the 48-page Kickstarter editions. Close that up. And... Real quick, uh, thank you everyone. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Definitely check out the Coffin Comics stores to get your, some of your last minute items for the Hell Witch, the Forsaken Kickstarter we are offering. They're almost out. I ain't BSing here. Pulling that stock just to show you guys, I was kind of nervous because, well, what if there's orders in the way? I don't want to pull one. So I'm going to hurry up and get these back into the uh, store uh, for orders that are going to be pulled here. Um, also, uh, Four days left on that Lamorta to Kickstarter, guys. Check it out. Jump on it. This is your chance to sign up for some pledges, for some really beautiful additions, and your chance to uh, get some of these cool freebies we're throwing in, tipping in. Brian does not play around. He loves to make these Kickstarters fun and memorable. I mean, heck, I've done maybe eight, nine Kickstarters since I've been here, and they're a lot of fun. It, it is hard work, but we enjoy it because we can't do it without your guys's or your backing of us. So again, thank you very much. I've been Hooligan. I'm sworn to you that I promise to see you next Monday. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Everyone be careful going home. If you're stuck in traffic, drive slow. Make sure you look out for each other, and I will see you next Monday. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.